Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now mid-March and again, <laughs> as always, we've got a busy day. Now just checking in on our chickens and uh, we're nearly full on our pallet space here. That's a lot of eggs. I know I like to remind you every time I come and have a look, but these are five times capacity. They are huge. So much money there. Our uh, honey is stacking up again, five times capacity. It's looking good. So it looks like, excuse me, looks like we're going to need to do a, a an egg sale and maybe even a honey sale because we're not going to need all that for our ale. Um, I think we're still pretty full with regards to that with, with what we made before. Now today, at some point, I want to try and start selling some of the silage or at least loading up our feeders we want to fill that feeder and load up the feeder over there ready so we can get some um, beefers in so yeah that that might be part of today um we i'm gonna open it because i can't for the life of me recall what it was we had in here i think it's around about seven hundred and fifty thousand liters 732 weren't too far out so yeah, we've we've got quite a bit of silage to uh, to shift. I think if we can fill this feeder, fill the other feeder, and then we will just sell everything else. Everything else can go, make some more money. But we will we will we will be jumping in the Deutz and uh, doing some tanking to start with. I'll do the first meadow, and then I think I'll probably stick a worker in to do the other two. And we'll get on with a few other jobs around the farm. So I'm just going to go and find myself a tractor somewhere, wherever I've left it. Oh dear, turns out I had left it with, <laughs> with the tanker. I'd left it attached. It was parked up, ready to go. So we've got a fill on. Now you will notice, or you may have noticed, um, we've got quite a bit more money than we had at the end of the last episode. I think we had like 60, 60, 600, sorry, 630, 640,000. And we had 30 odd thousand litres of milk. 35, I think at the end I checked. Um, so overnight we would have had whatever milk was there. So with this morning we've probably uh, auto sold about 40,000 litres of milk. So we're now up to 716,000. So that's where that is. So I'll just show you that just want to show you that that was empty. Uh, I didn't point it out <laughs> necessarily very well there while talking, so I'll do one of my little arrows in editing so you can see what I was talking about. Now, last time out, we were tanking the far meadow, so today we're going to do the, this meadow. I'll do this one myself, and we'll then, uh, like I say, set a worker to do the two smaller meadows. That can be their job. Let's just get himself lined up. Excuse me, sorry. As always, <laughs> coffee repeating. So, uh, yeah, we've not got um, that massive crazy sale thing going on at the start. That was uh, that was pretty epic, the, uh, the strawberry daily. Now, I have already been in and uh, had a try to see if I can fill that um, the massive 2,000 litre bags. Uh, straight from the silage clamp and I can't so we will have to do it the old-fashioned way now I'm pretty sure we could probably pour it in there but if we're going to be loading it we might as well load it in our wagon properly and we may even get a bigger trailer I think because we do do a lot of runs with it that's my uh, favorite phrase there the doo-doo um, so yeah we do a lot of runs with it when we do the silage I'll, I'll keep it for when we do harvesting because just filling that up and running that to the um, our grain silo is absolutely fine but I think when we're doing sales especially big silage sales uh, we need something with a bit more capacity because it's so time consuming so depending on whether we get around to the actual sale today uh, we might purchase that or we <laughs> we might purchase it uh, next time, but anyway, we'll 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 get to that more when we uh, when we actually look to sell because we need to do the filling of our um, 
feed us first. So I hope you are well. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed the return. Like I say, this is this is now my second second return video. Um, the Bailerons were pre-recorded, as they always have been. Um, I'm trying to think, the the Stone Valley isn't pre-recorded, but I don't don't break the fourth wall in that if I can help it. So yeah. That's, that's going all right. People seem to be enjoying that, I think. Um, as I've said in the comments on that as well, when people uh, do leave me uh, nice feedback, or even if they leave me poor feedback, not poor feedback, but, you know, critical feedback, um, it's something that's very much out of uh, my comfort zone, but I'm enjoying doing I'm having fun with it. So it's something different for me. And, uh, yeah, hopefully as I, as I go along, I'll get better at doing it and... Um, Try and be more creative in the way that I try and tell a story with it. It's something something very new to me. Um, if you've watched any of my old original stuff that I did on FS19, the Scarbrook Farm series and a little bit of My Champ, uh, that was done in that sort of um, storytelling roleplay, but it was uh, without commentary. It was done with text, so in that sense I didn't have to worry about um, talking and breaking through the wall or breaking character because I just recorded what I wanted to do and then um, put a story over the top of it which was uh, a little bit easier I must say <laughs> a lot easier it was time consuming but it was a little bit easier so if you want to go back and look at the origins <laughs> that that's there for you it's still all there in all its glory This is, uh, this is probably going to take a while, I think. I need to put my map on. I always forget to put my little map on. So that we can uh, see where we're going. Again, some flickering today. I'm not sure what that's about. Didn't have flickering last time, if I recall. It may just be me. Sometimes I see things and then they're not there in editing, which is a little bit strange, but... And sometimes I don't see or hear anything and then it's there in editing. Um, and I'd like to take that, this a moment to apologise for in the last episode, and I'm hoping it's not here now. Again, I was very breathy and lispy. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because I've moved around my setup and the audio's a bit different, or being the first one back, if I had my mic just a little bit too close. Hopefully, you don't hear me breathe as much. I hate it. I hate it when I'm when I'm editing it and uh, I hear it. I just want to delete it. But I, you know. I can't go back and re-record it all again. So, uh, yeah, I do apologise for that if if that is the case again today. I was hoping in moving things around that I'd be able to eliminate a lot of that. That was the plan. Right, let's get back on that field. Oh, this isn't a very good turn. Might have to go through the shit. Sorry, moo cows. Not that there seems to be anyone in the shed today. They're all out enjoying the sun. That spring sun, fresh grass. Having a good time. I'll just go around from here again. I'm not worried about connecting completely where we were. It'll all get done eventually. That's why I need to make sure I have my map up. Sometimes we go a bit wayward on these uh, unusual shaped fields. Again, it's, uh, it's good to be back doing the recordings. I did think that while I was you know, not uploading, I'd find the time to do more, say, extra content, sort of non-farming, non-sim stuff, but time just wasn't there. I did have other things to do, and I didn't want to put any pressure on myself with videos, so that's why I took the break. It just wasn't the time to get the extras in. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find a little bit more time 
in the coming weeks and months so uh, we might we might get some extra content out there and again as always let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me try at sort of a, a simulator game of tries and then we'll pop a game title in there and give it a crack something that you think I might enjoy something that you'd enjoy something that may be a challenge for me you've seen my skill sets <laughs> they're not not great I just like uh, I like having fun so that's what we do now today oh look at that let's see our lovely tram lines they are a little bit close still, I think. Oh, that's it. Yeah, they were close there. I had to uh, change my width to go with the edge. So I'm sure we uh, spaced that out better. We need to get in there and weed that before it fully grows. If I remember rightly, that's why we came back in March. That and the silage. I'm trying to see if I can see the... Uh, texture in the grass. See where we've already got slurry down. Now today as well, um, I want to try and look into the extra land. This money is soon going to disappear. It, it looks like a lot, but there's probably two fields I want to buy. And we want to buy probably a hundred cows um, for the dairy. And then uh, we'll be close to that again. Small cows we want to buy to fatten up on the beefer side. So uh, that will be cheaper. But the dairy cows I want to buy sort of close to size. Probably the 12 month old cows. And then we want the money for the big trailer. <laughs> so yeah, that money will soon disappear. So the eggs will be, will be a big part of the sale when we do one. I think for now I'll crack on uh, because I do want to get some more things done today and uh, not just focus in on this slurry spreading. So uh, I'll get on with this and I shall get back to you once I've set my workers up and uh, I'm ready to do the next job. Okay, so with the worker off fertilizing that field, I'm going to go and jump in the wheel loader and uh, we'll start loading up the... Uh, feeder wagons now in hopes of uh, being able to fill them big bags I actually brought this back over here part up with the rest of its tools but it is getting called upon again and uh, I forgot to take note of how much uh, silage those uh, feeders take so I'm not sure how much we're going to need but we'll uh, just keep loading it in getting it done it's a good job we had enough straw to uh, at least keep the, uh, the TMR ticking over and again still at this point no one's told me whether the uh, the robot still comes out or not I've, I've honestly not seen it for so long probably something I could google or even just <laughs> Ask giants. I'm waiting for some community feedback. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'd rather find out in my comments. So if you know, let me know. So yeah, that was uh, that was an impressive silage we did at the end of last year, which is affording us this uh, great mountainous uh, stash. Hopefully we're going to have enough to uh, to get a good sale off it. Like I say, we've got, we've got things to do. You never know. Once we've got those cows up and running, we may look into another production. Um, I did say I wanted to buy the dairy, and that is still something I want to do. I want to buy the dairy, and I want to replace it. I think I found a better one. A better dairy. Plus we've still got to place our pub, got to build our pub. Got, got a map to develop. 
since I've not got the skills nor the time to learn the skills to create a map, we're gonna, gonna adjust this one. Just add some bits. Now the game can't come with pubs and things, not like in that sense that you're because of the age rates you can't have alcohol and stuff like that, so that all comes in via the mods. I think um, the only way that we've had uh, like pubs on maps before is only if you're selling them um, like other goods like the fruit and veg and stuff like that so then it's just under the sort of restaurant umbrella I guess or restaurant didn't check to see if we leaked any silage out the back but when we packed it I did the best I could to uh, go round and pick up everything that did go out the back so I'm hoping that we've not got that around around by the uh, the honey pallets now again this is going to be a job that's going to take a while and I've got two two pens to try and fill so since it is literally going to be this motion probably for the next <laughs> 20 minutes I'll uh, I'll skip forward a little bit and uh, probably come back as I think this one is um, finished speaking of finished I'm going to go and sort that worker out and get them on the next field they did that so quick they are so efficient well it's now a past one and <laughs> I'm still filling this. Uh, we're up to 775,000 litres of silage. I think that's enough. Um, in the clamp, we still have 500,000. So in fairness, we could put all of this in there. But I don't want to do that. I want to sell some. So, I think what we'll do, because it's going to take me another three or four hours in game to uh, fill that I'll, I'll do the sale first and then uh, we'll load up what is left into the other clamp and I can do that sort of going late into the night so then I'm not just spending uh, a whole video off screen loading silage elsewhere so given that we'll have a little look see uh, there might be something going cheap at the store or uh, yeah we'll have to pay full price for something but we've got something bigger well there's not really much on at the store I'm not quite sure what's been going on they've got some uh, <laughs> some half price cakes though if you're interested and uh, a little fent favorite I do like the fent favorite that is uh, that is an old favorite of mine but I'm thinking we could get ourselves this uh, sort of old Iveco I think the old the old Fiat truck with the uh, the built-in um, back on it. I mean, we can customize this as well. It has different configurations, so you can have it as a bale trailer, small capacity, large capacity. I think that would be great for us. It sells a little cover on it. Cost a hundred grand, which you know isn't cheap, but we can afford it for a change. We can afford something expensive like that. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that would be better for running the silage, although it's still not a lot, is it? Let me rethink this. Let me rethink this. So instead, what I've gone for is a combination of the uh, the Fiat 68.2 T2, little old Fiat, and the uh, the trailer on the back. This is the, Liz the Lizard semi-trailer. Now that has 45,000 litre capacity, which is a little bit more than what we're running already. And I think I'll be able to fill it easier. It looks like it's going to sit lower. So uh, yeah, uh, combined to all uh, about 91, 92 grand. So it's actually a good price, if you ask me. Now this is the one that has the, uh, the weird animated door that takes forever. Had this on um, Shamrock Valley. We were just talking about that at the start of the video. Had this on the Shamrock Valley uh, series, so all good on that front. Let's, uh, let's have a little cruise back. Now, this is not the most powerful truck, and with my fill levels and the realism stuff, this may really struggle, so uh, this may be a, a waste purchase and end up going off for a quick sale. But look at it, it's a classic 
Absolute classic, I love it. I've got sounds for indicators. I don't think I've got anything on my on my so-called dash that's showing I'm indicating. Let's have a little uh, have a little look outside. I just want to have a little view from the inside to see uh, what that was doing. That's one of the ones where we've got a little bit of light. We've got no indicator on the front. That's what it is. It indicates just on the side. Our trailer has indicators. We're all good. So now that the trees are grown back, let's see if uh, the ones I cut down and cut away are really making a difference. A little bit of greenery back. I think it was still a bit brown last time. These things uh, skip my memory. That one, that one could do with a little trim. That's a little bit protruding, isn't it? Perhaps we'll sneak down in the night and have a little cut away at that one. Yeah, we'll be able to get a little bit more in here. It's still going to take a few runs. I mean, you know, without getting some sort of crazy trailer that's 60 to 100,000 litres, which, you know, would be just so out of place. I'm not even sure if they do come that big. I'm sure there is, but that would be just be too. 60,000 they do, 70,000 they do, because we've got one on um, Upe. But I think this is fine. This is going to fit the map. I imagine this uh, maple will be, be a little bit oldy worldy anyway as I play along it. So, uh, there's the door. Just, just give it a shot. Go on, there we are. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> when you're in a rush to try and record stuff waiting for that door, it can be a pain in the backside. Oh no, I forgot to uh, take the cover off. It's, it's climbing. This is the thing. This is the thing. <laughs> if you're out of cab, you don't have to do that. So, cover off. Right, let's ignore the door. It's a nice touch, but it's just too slow. And it doesn't require IC or anything like that. I believe that it's on, uh, on console, so... It was before, so I assume it is now. But we need to... Uh, yeah, we're going to fill that up a few times, try and get some sales, because it's already... Already quarter four. I want to make a bit of money today. So yeah, we've brought another trailer out <laughs> of the truck. It just happens. And, oh, I was worried I'd missed then. I thought that was going on the floor. Has been known in the past for me to, uh, miss. Sorry if you can hear creaking. That's my pedals. They're not as secure as they were in the old position. May have to have an adjustment of that. Where they're not secure, but we'll uh, we'll have a look. Yeah, it's definitely uh, nicer to not be. Uh, well, although we are smacking the truck a little bit, not like we were before. If I could just get that distance right, we'd never touch it. Just, like I said, I don't want to pour on the floor. So I shall. Uh, we'll do one fill, and uh, I'll show the run and the sail, and then I'll probably. Uh, like I've done in the past, just show the sails and maybe a little bit of filling in a time lapse or something. But you know what? We're selling silage. We've done it before. If I show you the first one and the money we make, then the math should be doable that you don't <laughs> need to see every sail or see me do every fill and stuff like that. So that's how I look at it. I do like that transparency thing of what I'm doing, and you guys can follow along. Uh, that pedal's making a lot of noise. It's distracting me. Hopefully it's not getting picked up. Last time out, uh, we didn't pick up the fan in the background, so hopefully I'm not going to pick up the creaky pedal. This is, uh, yeah, another job's got to take a while. I think eventually... I will succumb to getting a belt or something, because we do do this a lot, do do, said it again, and uh, it just, it, this just takes a while, whereas a belt would probably make it a bit quicker, just sort of park up to it and let it fill, if we could go off and, I don't know, do the odd other thing while it's happening, 
happened is I could park the uh, the truck up with the trailer, back that onto the uh, to the conveyor belt, and then um, continue loading manually into the uh, the feeders. Oh, it's good. It doesn't let me dump it on the floor there. Perhaps it's just full. Perhaps we are at capacity. Oh, shit the bed. That happened. <laughs> Let's have a little... Uh, it must be full. It is. It is full. Oh, bloody door. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna annoy me real quick. <laughs> the poor Fiat might be short-lived. <laughs> I just want to have a go with some old stuff. Now, the way that's heaped up, I'm not going to be able to shut me, um, put me tarp over, am I? Jump back in. Uh, put go through the tarp. Look, that's annoying. Right. If we do a big grain sale or something with this, we'll have to remember to drive forward a little bit as it fills from the uh, silo. Do a little, a little bit inside, just because I like it when it's driving. Well, the mirrors, the mirrors are in the right place. I do like it when we get a vehicle and the mirrors are in the right place. It's quite nice that. Not that I do a lot of uh, <laughs> reversing from in cab. Remember them indicators. So it's a shame something like this doesn't turn up regularly in the uh, second-hand section because it would fit. Although I guess at the price, it's half of what the uh, all the other um, trucks are. So uh, I guess it had, does already have that second-hand price feel to it. But I think, what, 50, 58 grand? Wasn't cheap still. Still wasn't cheap. Now, I'm not sure how stable this combination is. So uh, we're trying to take it easy around corners. Move our trailer off the other side of the road. It does feel wide. I did think that when I first jumped in it to uh, back up and connect to the, uh, the back end felt really wide. And sitting in it here, it feels a bit wide. Perhaps the size scaling, if this is uh, sort of converted over from 90, perhaps the scaling is a little bit different. But I like it. It's doing the job. It's getting us there. We could probably pull a little bit more, but I thought the the trailer was about right. I mean, our our um, is it a farmer? Our farmer trailer, Activa Farmer, it's called. That's it. Sounds like breakfast cereal. Um, yeah, that with the silage um, sides up, the silage configuration. It's it loads to like thirty five thousand itself. So it's only an extra five thousand we're doing. But it's easier and quicker to fill because of the, the shape and the size of it as well. So let's see how much we get for our first sale. I can't believe it's nearly 5 o'clock already. It's gone so quick. May have to have some magic juju so we can um, at least get a couple of these sales in. Twenty-four. 24 grand, so four sales will pay for this. And that would be uh, what was that, 8, 16, 160,000 litres. 160,000 litres will pay for this truck trailer setup. Plus change. Because it wasn't quite quite that much. So yeah, that's not bad. So uh, I'll get back to the farm and uh, We'll try and get a few more sales done. See if we can get three more in just to make the money back on our rig. On our little rig. Well, it's now coming up for half past seven. Um, we're on our fourth run. And we got a little bit less for the last one. Um, not a lot, I say. A lot. <laughs> it's just a little bit less, about a thousand less. So uh, the price is coming down as we're selling it. 
but we should still uh, make more than what we've spent. Um, so we would have sold 180,000 litres of silage by the end of this. And we made... We make... Uh, 24... Uh, 40... 8... 80... 81... 80... 190... 100... Made... Yeah, about 102 grand. And we spent 92... 92, 93 on the setup. So, uh, financially we're alright. We've made a little bit of money. Um, I want to... Head back to the farm. Um, before I rest up for my night, as it were, um, I'm going to load as much of that silage into the other um, cow shed as I can. Um, probably all of it. I was thinking I might save some to sell another day, but then that just means repeating this again in maybe two episodes time, which I don't want to do. So we'll just completely load up the other cow, um, ready for when we get some cows. Then hopefully next time out, we will look into purchasing a sprayer. I did want to get them fields today, but the day is just gone. So we'll, we'll look at fields before um, they start to disappear. Although we want to get barley, so they shouldn't disappear until um, we are ready to harvest ourselves. But we want to get them before harvest time because the, the AI harvests straight away these days. So that's something we want to do. There was one other field I wanted to get with a different crop in, but I might not do that because we're a bit busy with other things. And that was for a different project. So uh, that might wait. Um, but yeah, we want to get a, a sprayer next time out and uh, spray the weeds off our fields want to go purchase that field uh, whichever one we can find I always miss the turning in the dark um, so yeah we're going to be busy again tomorrow and that's why I don't want to be repeating this uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed today's video if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find it when new videos go live as always comments and feedback down there you guys tell me what you're thinking what do you think of our <laughs> new old little Fiat on our trailer. Uh, I know some people probably think it's not necessary, but it's something different. We've got to add something different every now and then. And uh, I, I've liked this model, like I say, since uh, it arrived in FS19. Uh, there was a different version with a with a with uh, an already attached trailer that was actually smaller than the one I wanted, so that's why we didn't get that. Anyway, I'm rambling and I've already said goodbye. So you guys have yourselves a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye-bye.